guys, it's your girl Carrie. Now I don't usually bling, but when I do, girl, <laughs> now I'm just being funny. I'm just joking around with you guys, but I'm headed out to my first holiday party of the year. And I want to come in and share a quick etiquette tip because I know everyone will be attending those parties, whether they're corporate mixers, they're a corporate holiday party, or anything like that. And sometimes you may be wondering, how do I navigate the room when I have both a drink and an appetizer plate in my hand? So that's what I'm going to quickly share with you before I run out the door with the hubby. So. Most of the times you're not going to be, if you're at like a corporate event or just most places in general, you're not going to have what's called a mingling plate. Now this is what a mingling plate looks like. It's a round plate with a cutout here and that's basically used to hold your wine glass. So you can slip your wine glass in there and it will look just like that. And so as you moved about the room, you would have a free hand left that you could use to shake with um, and this would not interfere. But most of the time, you're not going to have that option. So what do you do if you don't have that option? I'm going to share with you what you should do. So nine times out of 10, when you go to the buffet or if there is a waiter or waitress passing out hors d'oeuvres or appetizers, they usually have a napkin as well to give to you. So you may have an appetizer plate and a napkin. If you don't have an appetizer plate, let's say it's a waiter or waitress just handing out, you know, single serve appetizers that are used with a toothpick, all you would have is a napkin. So I'm going to show you both ways to handle the situation. So I have my drink in hand. And let's say I'm trying to maneuver an appetizer plate and a drink. What you do when you're at the buffet, you grab your napkin. These are my drunken love napkins. Um, and you're going to place your napkin underneath your appetizer plate, right? And so what you're going to do then is basically cover your glass with your napkin. So that's right there. You know, that's what it kind of looks like. And then you're going to set your appetizer plate right on top of the napkin. And usually the groove of the plate will kind of steady it. So let's take a look at that. And so now you're free to move about and you just kind of steady it like that. And as you're moving around the room, you walk, you know, you see someone you know, you want to introduce yourself, you're, hi, I'm Carrie, and you have this free hand to extend and shake that person's hand. And if you happen to end up standing there, talking for a while, you can remove the plate and the napkin together, take a sip of your wine, and you're good to go. So you move on around the room until you find a destination where they have like one of the high tables or a low table where you can actually set everything down. But this is how you would keep your hands free when you're out and about maneuvering and working that room. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little etiquette hack video. Now I've been uploading quite a bit lately, so if you've missed it, please check out the My Husband Teaches Me How to Cook, his famous macaroni and cheese video. That'll be the perfect recipe for the upcoming holiday season. Also, he teaches me how to make his lip smacking Gouda shrimp and grits. That would also make a great breakfast option. And I have several other videos as well. I'm headed out the door with the hubby, but until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye, guys.